guy here doing another review for epicreviews.net. So I know it's a little bit dimmer than usual in here, and there's a good reason for that. Don't be scared. I'm doing the Instabulb review today, and so I wanted to be able to have one light going and then turn that off and let you guys see how bright this is going to be. And that way you kind of got an idea of maybe what kind of um, watt light bulb it's comparable to. So anyways, just the package as you can see. I picked this up, I think, for $14.99, so $15 for two of them. Um, the one thing you do want to keep in mind is that there's batteries required, and it takes four AA batteries. So I didn't realize that at first. So the batteries are going to cost you just about as much as the light bulbs. But anyways, this is the Instabulb. It's been pretty popular on TV. I'm sure everybody's seen the reviews for it. So two of these bulbs come in a package like this. I've got one of them already broken out with the batteries put in it, so I can use that one to display the light for you. I'll break out the packaging for you guys. You can take a look at what the bulb itself looks like. Get that in front of you. So the string hangs off of the front. And you just pull it like that on and off, which like I said, I'll show you guys a lit one here in just a minute. Um, it pops out so that you can carry it around with you if you have this base installed. You can see there's a sticky tape on there. So it's that easy to install. You can have it up on a shelf, up on a ceiling obviously would be an obvious spot. I mean, I don't know. They're pretty good deal, I would have to say, at least as far as the um, technology and what you're getting for, you know, six, seven bucks. They are plastic bulbs, so they don't break and they don't get really hot to the touch. I mean, if you're going to be using them all the time, you would probably be going through those batteries quite quick, but they make an AC adapter now. So I don't know if you can see that, but for $9.99, you can basically buy that AC adapter. And so if you've got a closet or something where you don't have a light bulb, but you do have an outlet, well, then you can put this in and you can actually just plug it in, save money on batteries. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead then and I'm going to turn off the lights for a second and let you guys um, see how bright that Insta bulb is. So I've got a 100 watt bulb going in the lamp right behind the monitor here. So I'm going to turn that off and then I'll turn on the Insta bulb and let you guys check it out. So hang on. Don't be scared. Ooh, it's dark. All right. So that was a 100 watt bulb in a lamp. Now I'm going to turn on the Insta bulb and we'll take a look. Well, you can see a much more subtle light. If the other one was 100 watt, I would say this is maybe a 15 or 20 watt bulb. I've got it right on top of the lamp. I'll bring it around for you guys to check it out. But not really too bad. Um, those pop-up lights that you clicked, um, those really didn't put off much light. I would say this does put off a lot more light. Um, if you were trying to light up a closet or something, I think one of these would be fine. I'm in mean, emergencies where the power went out. You know, you can pull it out of there. And then you can take this part with you. And then when you're done... You can just stick it back in the wall. So anyways, um, they're cheap enough. I would say if you have a spot where you need a light, you know, these are pretty convenient, pretty easy. If you're not going to use them a ton, they're probably okay to just go with the batteries. If you're going to use them often, you probably want to get that AC adapter with them. But anyways, you can check out the full review at epicreviews.net if you want to see or get a link to where you can get them. And I'll catch you guys on the next review with more light, hopefully.